So my name is John Starr. I work at the Nebraska Department of Transportation and I'm an engineering technology and UAS program leader there. Our drone program started up in the summer of 2019. We have a UAS team who's in charge of maintaining that program and also flying specific missions. My name is Kurt Muting. I work for the Nebraska Department of Transportation. I am the District 1 construction engineer and oversee all the construction projects within the district. The South Beltway was the largest single project that the department has built, dollar-wise. The direct route for the project is 13 miles. That's a new four-lane section. Full-depth concrete pavement, 21 bridges, and 44 box culverts, and 5.3 million cubic yards of embankment. We were brand new to this in 2019, figuring out the processes, figuring out the technologies. Our first task was to go fly the site before ground was broke, so before they had done any construction. So you can imagine we're standing out there looking at bean fields and corn fields, and where does this roadway go? You know, initially we, we were able to develop a pretty quick method to get the data out of our CAD design directly from that into a software that would automate the flights on the unmanned aircraft system we were using. And so we were able to fly the length of the project right down essentially the center line of this new roadway. But what that did is that allowed us to repeat that process every four to six weeks throughout the duration of the project so we could consistently fly the same path and do comparisons on what was there before. And in doing so, we were able to show that timeline of how things were built, when they were built, when they were completed, and we get an overall scene of how a project like this was built. I was asked to give numerous presentations throughout this because, again, it was a large publicized project. It drew a lot of attention and the public wanted to know how things were going. And I could talk about the project for 20 or 30 minutes and then show the video. And that's what everybody wanted to see, was the video. You can give a, a group of individuals a bunch of numbers of how many square yards of this and how much this was done, and that didn't sink in. But you show them the video and that's what sunk in. My goal was to provide immediate value. Now keep it in mind, we had just started flying drones at NDOT. We were able to work with our construction staff. They went out and measured those quantities using their traditional methods, and it took them about five days to come up with quantities. We were able to prove the concept using our drones, perform the same quantity computations within about a day's work of collecting data and processing that to show real value right away. Because right now we do everything on the ground. We're walking and measuring, usually with a GPS system. A lot of that stuff can be done with the drone operator. You can go fly an area and develop a square yard quantity or a cubic yard quantity or whatever it would be, and there will be substantial savings. So we went from, in 2019, having two pilots at the inception to having 13 pilots now spread across the state of Nebraska. But overall, I think the lessons that we learned, the processes that we were able to put into place, the workflows that we established by doing some things over and over, trying a couple different workflows and maybe a couple different technologies, that definitely led to a success. It led to us being more efficient as we move forward onto, onto the next projects.